Good morning beautiful people of the world. It's your favorite Somali boy back with another video. No you guys haven't heard from me in a while but we're back and today we're going to do another get to know me video where I can answer a few more questions that I didn't answer in the previous one. If you haven't watched the previous one, after you're done with this one, feel free to go back. So yeah, um let's begin. Favorite type of music? Uh, that, that would have to be anything African at the moment. I used to like hip hop, but not anymore. So it's uh, anything African, anything coming out of Africa, and um, reggae music, the old school reggae. If I could have one superpower, what could it be? Um, time travel. Maybe go back and see how they built the pyramids. <laughs> Uh, what's my go-to comfort food? Honestly, that's anything that's in the kitchen. <laughs> anything that's in the kitchen, that's that's a go-to comfort food. But if it's uh, my favorite food, it would have to be my mom's uh, stir-fry pasta. That thing slaps any day, twice on Sunday. My favorite pastime or hobby? Um, I don't have any hobbies at the moment. I used to play football. But now my favorite pastime is just, you know, just whenever I'm free, you'll just, you'll just find me thinking about uh, the future, me being successful and how I'm going to get there because, you know, it's not, in, it's not enough to just dream it. I think you have to have a vision. So I spend a lot of time thinking about that. Um, if I could travel anywhere, where would I go to first? Man, if it wasn't for this YouTube thing, I would have loved to travel to Somalia. And just see where I came from, you know? I would love to know where I came from. Um, do I have any hidden talents? No, I don't, unfortunately. I know some people can make animal sounds. <laughs> I can't do anything. But apart from play football, I'm really good at football. But I do write songs, eh? I do write very good songs. I have enough songs to, to fill up a, an album and more. Um, what's your favorite season? Whenever it's cold. Like even once I get monetized and start traveling to Europe, I'm not the type of guy that would go to Europe uh, in the summer. I'm the type of guy that would go to Europe um, in the winter. Especially like in Germany, in the winter they have this uh, this Glühwein uh, festival or something. You go, you drink Glühwein, it's like... Um, you're given hot wine in a mug I, and that thing gets you from 0 to 100 like this yeah and just the way you know they celebrate Christmas you know here we only you only get to know it's Christmas like at the shopping malls and stuff there it's, it's everywhere you know there's guys singing um, on the road and it's just beautiful um, dream job Honestly, what I'm doing right now, this is my dream job. I really enjoy uh, content creation and the freedom it, it, it allows people, uh, especially if you can succeed in this, you're really going to live a very free life and very fulfilled life because you get to travel, meet new people, see new things, huh? many faces, different places. Um, best advice I've ever gotten. I think the best advice would have to be that, yo, listen, Nobody is coming to save you. You gotta do this for you. You know, you have a dream, you have to start chasing it like yesterday. That was the best advice. I think I skipped one, guys. Uh, also, my favorite book and why? It has to be two of them. So, one is The Secret. Reason being, there's... there's uh, I, I learned about the law of attraction um, in the secret. So it's like you don't have to have money to start building. You just go out there, start looking for, for land, start inquiring about the prices of cement, and then the money will come. You know, you, you're attracting it. You don't need to have money for the car. You go to the car lot, start asking for prices, inquire about that car the fuel consumption, the, the CC, and everything. Even if you have zero in your bank account, or even minus zero, you know, 
the law of attraction the second book would be rich dad poor dad this guy had a rich stepdad and his real dad was poor his, uh, the reason why i like this book is because the rich dad uh, was teaching him how money can work for you and his his uh, poor dad who is his real dad um was teaching him that you have to work for the money you have to work hard when sometimes you don't really have to work hard you you can just work smart isn't it all right um if i could have dinner with three people dead or alive who who would it be two of my grannies my shosho and my ayeyo and my dad yo i could have a, a like a nice dinner with those three people it would just be beautiful but anyway guys those were the 10 questions i think i answered them pretty fast uh, it's only 6 minutes on the clock but i'll take the rest of the time to tell everyone thank you for watching the video up to this point thank you to all my subscribers thank you for everyone who comments in the uh, on the videos and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also if there's anything you'd like to to know uh, uh, about me feel free to hit me up in the comments you always get an answer till till the next video peace